Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, history aficionados, and curious minds, welcome to Timeless Sagas. I'm your host, and today we're going to dive into a fascinating, yet tragic chapter in human history, China's Great Leap Forward. Buckle up as we embark on an epic journey through the events that unfolded during this tumultuous time, and as always, I promise you laughter, tears, and some valuable life lessons along the way. Let's set the scene. The year is 1958, and China is under the rule of the charismatic and ambitious leader, Mao Zedong. Mao, dreaming of a future where China would transform into a prosperous, industrialized nation, came up with a plan that he believed would catapult the country to the forefront of the global stage. And so, the Great Leap Forward was born. Envisioned as a rapid and radical modernization of China's agricultural and industrial sectors, the Great Leap Forward sought to achieve this by harnessing the power of the masses. The plan called for the mobilization of millions of peasants into gigantic, communal farming collectives called People's Communes. In these communes, the traditional family unit would be replaced by a collective one. Even private cooking was abolished, and communal kitchens were established. Now, I know what you're thinking, this sounds like a recipe for disaster. Well, you're not wrong. But before we delve into the tragic consequences of this experiment, let's take a moment to appreciate the sheer scale of ambition that drove this initiative. Mao's vision was to turn China into a superpower that would outshine the United States and the Soviet Union, and he was willing to bet it all on this grand plan. On the surface, the Great Leap Forward seemed to be making progress. The Chinese government released statistics showing skyrocketing grain production, and the world marveled at China's apparent success. However, beneath this facade of prosperity, things were going horribly wrong. You see, the government's obsession with meeting production targets led to widespread exaggeration and falsification of data, and the reality of the situation was far from the rosy picture being painted. The first cracks in the facade began to appear when the commune's agricultural production failed to live up to the lofty expectations. The collectivization of farming, combined with unscientific agricultural practices, resulted in a significant decline in crop yields. To make matters worse, the diversion of labor from agriculture to steel production led to a severe shortage of manpower for farming. And speaking of steel, the Great Leap Forward's industrial ambitions were just as disastrous. In an attempt to boost steel production, peasants were encouraged to set up backyard steel furnaces. The idea was to melt down scrap metal and produce low-quality steel that could be used for construction. Unfortunately, this steel was often so weak that it was virtually useless, and the whole endeavor proved to be a colossal waste of resources. Now, you might be wondering, how did the Chinese people react to all of this? Well, the truth is that many people were caught up in the fervor of the Great Leap Forward and were genuinely excited about the prospect of building a new and prosperous China. However, as the cracks in the facade grew wider and the harsh reality of the situation began to set in, dissenting voices started to emerge. One such voice belonged to Peng Dewey, a high-ranking military official, and a member of the Chinese Communist Party's Central Committee. In a private letter to Mao, Peng criticized the Great Leap Forward's disastrous policies and urged for a change of course. Unfortunately, instead of heeding Peng's advice, Mao saw this as an act of disloyalty, and Peng was promptly purged from the party. This set a chilling precedent for anyone else who dared to question the Great Leap Forward. At this point, you might be wondering, can things get any worse? Well, hold on to your hats, because the worst was yet to come. The combination of poor agricultural policies, labor shortages, and bad weather led to a devastating famine that would ultimately claim the lives of an estimated 15 to 45 million people. This massive loss of life is what truly marks the Great Leap Forward as one of the darkest chapters in human history. As the scale of the disaster became apparent, even Mao could no longer ignore the grim reality. In 1962, the Great Leap Forward was officially abandoned, and the Chinese government began to implement more pragmatic policies to address the dire situation. However, the damage was already done, and the scars of this tragic episode still run deep in the collective memory of the Chinese people. So, what can we learn from the Great Leap Forward? Well, for starters, it serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of hubris and the perils of ignoring reality in pursuit of grandiose dreams. The Great Leap Forward was ultimately a tragic failure that cost millions of lives and left a lasting mark on China's history. But there's a silver lining to this dark cloud. The Great Leap Forward also illustrates the importance of learning from our mistakes and adapting to new realities. The Chinese government's eventual shift towards more pragmatic policies laid the groundwork for the country's remarkable economic growth in the decades that followed. Today, China stands as a global superpower, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of its people. 
In that, my friends, brings us to the end of today's episode of Timeless Sagas. I hope you enjoyed our journey through China's great leap forward and that it's given you a greater appreciation for the complexities of history and the lessons we can learn from it. As always, I invite you to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from the annals of human history. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and remember, the past is never truly dead, it's all just one big, timeless saga.